audience is everybody, um, but uh, but more specifically, uh, I. Uh, I know, for example, this will appeal to um, anybody obviously interested in plays and, and reading plays. And uh, so, so this will be in, of interest to folks in the profession as well as am other um, amateur practitioners. If you're a director or a producer, um, other actors, there's some uh, good monologues in here, good dialogues um, if you're for auditions or scenes or anything like that. But absolutely for um, producing at other theaters, these plays um, really are very strong. And I'm glad that they haven't been relegated to the desk drawer like uh, might otherwise have happened. Um, so I think anybody interested in a, in a second production will be um, absolutely interested in reading these. Um, Anybody, uh, you know, there's because of the variety. I think there's there's a play in here for everybody. There's at least one play in here for everybody, um, and because of the way that Athabasca University Press works, that it's it's a, you know it's theoretically a global extension because you can find these plays uh, and you can produce them. You can be anywhere. You can be in Singapore. You can be in South Africa, and anybody can really have a have a chance to and, to read the play and then and then um, discuss with the playwright about uh, production royalties and and producing them. Um, and uh, and also for scholars, absolutely. So um, uh, for theater scholars, there's a there's a good bit of um, sort of sociocultural uh, history um, pegged specifically to Walterdale, which has uh, so that is that has impacted uh, Edmonton theater. You know, since it's Edmonton's oldest theater, longest running theater right now, um, outside of uh, studio theater at the University of Alberta, and. Um, and so uh, anybody who's interested in performance studies and theater studies, I think, is going to find something interesting in here. It's, it tends more toward the historical bent. It tends more toward um, uh, sort of events. Um, but, uh, but I've also attempted to, to, to write the introductory material so that it's a good read, that there's, that there's sort of stories in here that people can be engaged with. Um, and you can pick and choose if you're interested in some parts and not others, or you can read it from cover to cover. But also, um, anybody interested in history, Alberta uh, historians, Canadian historians, Edmonton historians, absolutely, uh, will find interest in, in, in this. So there's a, uh, and anybody I think too is interested in um, professionalization of practices, and this is something that I've become more and more um, interested in my research and looking at is how, how um, arts practices professionalize and uh, reasons why they don't. And so, um, so I think this will be interesting. Interesting to anybody, you know, really asking the question: Well, why remain amateur? You know, why why don't you want to um, why don't you want to produce as a professional? And so, so this this book I try to lay out uh, reasons and freedoms why why they're why it's actually very useful to do that. So I think I think there's a real interest there. Yeah, and really anybody who's interested in. Uh, in reading uh, fiction of any sort. I think we'll find something in here. They might not like everything. They might not be engaged with all of it, um, but they should. Uh, but if not, they, uh, I think they'll find uh, one or two things in here from um, sort of the long full-length plays um, to uh, the meaty, the long meaty plays into something that's a little bit shorter, you know, that, that's sort of a good sit down. You know, for a few minutes, you know, over your cup of coffee, you can read some of these one acts.